Hey, welcome to Talk About Scary, the show where we do just that. Talk about scary stuff, places, things, events, whatever we want. That's pretty much where the show has gone, and I'm all for it because scary stuff is the best stuff. Today, I have a rather short episode for you. It's just me, as you can see. There's no Adam, there's no Shalina, there's no special guest. It's just me. I know you're thrilled. <laughs> um, I don't want to make this episode very long. This is our penultimate episode. That is the official term for the episode before the finale. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 was the penultimate movie. Thus, this is the penultimate episode. Season 4 has been long. We started it about a year and a half ago. We've talked about a lot of crazy places. Adam and I have done a handful of ghost investigations, and it's been a wild ride. And those of you who are still with us, thank you. We appreciate it more than you could possibly imagine. I do want to also take this time to mention that our special ghostly secrets of Hotel San Carlos will be live on this YouTube channel October 1st. I think that's next week. So check it out because you don't want to miss that. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe! It's important to us. And all that matters is us. Subscribe. There's going to be a graphic. I don't know where it is. But it's there telling you to subscribe, which you should. Again, this is going to be a short episode. I don't want to keep you guys. We have a lot planned for next week, so please check out next Friday's episode. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we have a lot of stuff planned for the future of this show and the YouTube channel, so do not miss out. Again, subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about Clinton Road. What's that? The President's Road? No, it's not. It's actually a road located in West Milford, New Jersey, which mm, we've talked about New Jersey quite a few times on this show. And if you recall, I am not a fan. New Jersey is just a weird um, thing that I want to stay away from. But there's a lot of folklore and legends that New Jersey brings the world to enjoy, like the Jersey Devil. It's a weird state, though. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. So, what is haunted about this Clinton Road? This Clinton Road that they actually made a film about. Check it out on IMDb. I'm not advertising it because I didn't make it or anything. But you know, there is a film about it, so it must be big. Anyway, the big ghost of this road is the boy on the bridge and it is said that if you around the time of midnight go to this bridge which is I'm a little bit confused during my research I saw that there are several bridges so I don't know how you're supposed to know which one is the bridge but I will say that like most bridges it's over a creek and the creek supposedly has hundreds of coins just haphazardly tossed below because of this ghost. So people will often leave a coin. Now the legend says that you have to leave the coin in the middle of the road on the yellow dotted line. And if you stand around and wait, the coin will return to you because the boy will pick it up and bring it back to you. I'm a little bit confused about the source of this legend. There's no name. There's no real reason for why the boy does this. 
And there's also not even a confirmed death. It says that the boy possibly drowned in the creek or was hit by a vehicle. Those are vastly different things, like mashed potatoes and football. They're not the same. Maybe to someone out there, they're like, yeah, mashed potatoes and football is a shame. Not me, though. I'm a little bit confused by that. You know, I'm not even a little bit confused. I'm, I'm very confused. It's an intriguing idea, and I would love to give it a shot to see if my coin is returned. But I'm... I'm a bit poor. I don't have a dime or quarter to just sacrifice and gamble on a boy returning it. Like, I need that dime. Anyway, the other big thing on this road, because there's actually quite a few things I could talk about, but I, again, want to keep this very short. And I just found this road interesting and unique and thought that it was a cool thing to talk about because we've done a lot of hotels, we've done a lot of murder mysteries, and we've done a handful of cemeteries. So I wanted to shake things up Jar Jar style and um, bring you the best of what I can possibly bring to the table, which isn't much. It's probably the mashed potatoes I mentioned earlier, which at most tables would be the star of the dinner but anyway there's quite a few ghost cars now i actually saw a special on travel channel and they were talking about like the most haunted places or whatever and they actually talked about this road for a wee bit and there was a video that some teens took and oftentimes there's like phantom headlights people have seen like camaros speeding down the road and then they just like disappear. But there's also a pickup truck that a lot of people see and it will chase them like it did these teens. Again, don't want to advertise other shows. You can go check it out if you want to. Not providing any links, but Google exists. So there's that, but that's kind of creepy. If a ghost pickup truck because ghosts, no, not ghosts, trucks have souls and can turn into ghosts, apparently on this road. Chase you? That's scary! I mean, think about it for a minute. What, what, if, if there was more, like, reason for the haunting, I would be like, ayy. But I don't really get it. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. This area and this idea is really interesting but why is there ghost pickup trucks why is there a ghost kid who feels the need to return change to people because he died on the bridge there's just a lot of questions and i'm not getting enough answers when it comes to this place but i think that it's interesting i've talked about roads in the past like morgan's corner but that was built on fact. Now, I will say that there is slight, slight, slight evidence that the KKK, also known as the Ku Klux Klan, came here regularly to dispose of bodies that they had ended. You know, because that's what they did. And that sort of thing is intriguing, but there's not really a whole lot of evidence. Um, you know, gang violence and stuff like that, I feel like should lead to more hard evidence. And there's not really a whole lot. There are a few crimes which you can look up on your own time. Be my guest. It's an interesting road. I like the whole ghost light thing. There's probably other roads that I want to talk about in the future. I know there's specifically one in Texas with like the ghost lights that's really interesting and the phantom car lights and pickup trucks and Camaros chasing you and disappearing out of nowhere is like right up my alley. I think that is super interesting. But when there's not like evidence to support it or reason for why it's happening in the first place 
I just raise a big question mark. And I go <laughs> with my chin out. But either way, at the end of the day, it makes you think. And that's the point of the show. That's always been the point of the show. And as we progress into season five, we hope that everybody is on board because we've got big things planned. That's B.I.G. So stick with us because we are going to creep it real. And you should too. I think one of my kids spit in my drink. It tastes a little mucusy.